Did I get you right? Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. you right. Yeah. I got fish teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? No, it's Pisces. Let's see him. No. <laughs> My name is Ray Couture. I'm a professional astrologer. And how long have you been an astrologer? Between 45 and 50 years. Have you ever done anything like this? Uh, not in a group setting, but wherever I am, I look at somebody and say, are you a Pisces? And sometimes they say, yeah, and sometimes they say, none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get everyone lined up. They're gonna stand behind you. What's your name? Nathaniel. How tall are you? 5'10". Yeah, can I see your profile? Profile. Oh, okay. You're Scorpio. What makes me a Scorpio to you? The intensity. Hmm. How are you? Hi, how are you? When you were growing up, uh, what kind of problems did you have with your parents? They could never decide if they wanted to be together or not. Do you worry a lot? Absolutely. Mainly about my son. You just face out. What are you looking for? Oh, the ears of a Capricorn are just chiseled. I'll go with Virgo. Okay. Changing that to Libra. Why? He accepted it too fast. <laughs> I have to watch how people act too. What did you study in college? I didn't go to college. Do you travel? Mm-hmm. Like, would you say a lot? A lot. Your hands? What do you look for in the hands? Whether they're fingers or claws. What do I have? Um, put them up this way and then turn them around. I'm going to see it that way. You have fingers, no claws. Sagittarius. Thank you. Hey, welcome. How tall are you? 6'1". Are you an artist? I am. You pick up a, a, a newspaper article or somebody hands you something to proofread. First thing you see is what's wrong with it? Yeah, I'd say so. Color your eyes. Uh, Hazel, I think. Hazel. Uh, and we'll go with Aquarius and leave it like that. Okay. Do people consider you weird, a little bit off the wall? Yeah. What time are you born? 12.41 p.m. 12.41 p.m. Let me ask you this. In relationships, mm -hmm. are you sort of like a dog on a bone? I got this. This is mine? Yeah. 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 Taurus. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are different, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by different? Challenging, bet you can't tell who I am kind of attitude. <laughs> if you were to draw a circle, mm -hmm. how close to an oval would it be instead of a circle? It would probably be an oval. A little wild here and there? Yes. Right. Pisces, thank you. <sighs> here thank you go. You. Who's next? Let me see your hand. So you're an independent thinker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm married to a transgender, so you're oh, yeah. trans, and I appreciate the courage and awesome. the work that goes that. into becoming who you really are. Yeah. So there's an enormous amount of change involved in that process. Uh, there you are, cancer. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, your ears. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. What about her ears? Well, it could be Capricorn ear. Capricorns have nothing to spare. Everything is usable. It has to be used and so forth. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try Capricorn with you. It could be Aquarius, so I might change later. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, what's your name? Amalia. Mm. <laughs> you put your foot forward, you know. When you were growing up, uh, mm. what did you want to be? Like a leader or like actress or something like fun, an entertainer for sure. Yeah, do you like to control things around you? Yes, I like it my way. Most Leos are like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here I am. Fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I don't care if I get any of them right. This is fun. <laughs> do you know that women or men or people with red hair have a lot of Neanderthal DNA? <laughs> I've heard that one yet, no. Is that your natural color? It is. Yeah, okay. Can I see your hands? Yes. They look like Neanderthal hands. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer is Aries. Hello, hello, my Gemini. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Where did you go to school? Um, you I study? did not go to college. Uh, I became a wife and a mom. In that order? Yes. That good order. for you. <laughs> 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 we had children way after we got married. Argue a lot. 
<laughs> no, he doesn't argue with me. Uh, I'm argumentative, but he just kind of. You're argumentative. Yes. So, so you win every argument. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gemini. Hi. So all we do here is say, are you a Virgo? <laughs> I wish it were that easy. Could I see your ears again? The Capricorn thing is gone. Okay. I'm going to switch sides with him. Is this your final answer? I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you have it. All right, raise your hand if he got you correct. Go ahead and turn around. I'm afraid, but sure. <laughs> and that's not too bad. <laughs> Who was the most obvious? I don't know, none of them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody swap to your correct sign. Okay, yeah, I'm the weirdo. Got that wrong, though. A nice weirdo, though. Yeah, You're a nice weirdo. So. You're different, you know. Do you have any advice to him being an Aquarius? Yeah, he's in the middle of an eclipse for the last four or five months, struggling with this whole process of how you're going to deal with this. It's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you got me wrong, but my mother is a Virgo, and we're very close. So you might be feeling her presence. Could be because you're a cancer and you carry your moon with you and you carry your mother with you. You're very warm. And when you don't feel good, you get a little needy. And she so call mom. And that's Aww. why the girls run away. <laughs> <laughs> what made you think I was a Sag? It just felt so honest, so dedicated to truth. Between you and me, I don't really believe in astrology too much. But this I, I don't has been blame interesting. You. Really? It's not, you shouldn't believe in it. When you're born, you take in all this stuff and you manifest whatever that kind of consciousness is. Now mm -hmm. your consciousness has got to do with staying on the high road, always be truthful and honest, and you cannot stand a liar. You just, and maybe after this, you'd be more interested in finding out more about astrology because you're capable of learning. Okay, well thank you so much for guessing me right. Thank you for coming here and exposing yourself to this. Uh, wow. How did I not do that? Wow. You, I got Aquarius. Did I get Virgo for you the first time? No, uh, Aquarius. Oh, yeah. I had Aquarius? Yeah. Wow. What was wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. I'm an Aries, and yes. you guessed me as a Taurus. Yes, you're a Taurus. I was born April 19th, so I'm at the cusp. So if it's near the cusp from Aries to Taurus, you'll have Taurus qualities as well as Aries qualities, and so that turns out to be your problem. The Aries wants to go, and the Taurus says, is it worth it? Should I really do this? And so forth. So you have to sort of balance all of those things. Got it, thank you so much. All right. Did I get you right? Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. you right, yeah. I've got fish teeth. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? No, it's Pisces. Yeah. What did you say, fish teeth? Fish yeah. teeth, yeah. What's the M? No. <laughs> what, are, what are you studying? I'm a film student. Film student. So you want to connect with people through picture? Yes. Right? And uh, your grandmother was really, really important in your life. Yeah. Extremely yeah. important. Yeah. yeah. She took care of you. Yeah. You had to get what you needed from her because it wasn't coming from mom and pop. Yeah. 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 Hi. The Virgo thing is that you have something to offer the world. And part of that is going to be you know, with writing. Or, I'm a writer. To, you know, I mean, I'm an editor, too. I was writer, an editor, editor for a long time. Yeah. So you got to keep, you got to keep writing. Don't stop. Thanks. Uh, tell your spouse that I said more power to them. Oh, I'll tell Madeline. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. You guess me right. What's your birthday? December 24th. So you've already gone through. I won't call it a near-death experience. You were hanging on the edges for a while, about three years ago, or maybe even four. You did the right thing. You had to do the right thing. Is it referring to your divorce? I think so. <laughs> wow. Again. Wow. You got me right. I got you right. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have difficulties until you were about 18, uh, feeling worthless or not valuable? Yeah. It was in college? You ran into somebody who told you how great you really are. Yeah? <laughs> well, when I know what time and so forth, I can really figure this out. I, but, I, you know, just the sun sign is a little hard. I met my biological mom when I was 19. Ah. Oh, my God. And, and you met her. Yeah. And then she said, I love you. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that is stunned right now. So what do you think about astrology? Kind of who we? The zodiac itself, I think, is a little too broad and vague and can apply to everybody else. Okay, what time were you born? I don't know. <laughs> so, Not at all, nothing. No, I have no clue. I'm more uh, concerned about my death time than I am <laughs> when I was born. Do you have any other way to waste time? To waste time? Sure, thinking about death, I mean. Oh, I don't think a lot about it. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, so you're a Gemini. See how you go from one side of the field? <laughs> First you do, you got then me. you don't? You got me. So we got our last two people. Last Can you scooch two. over just a little bit more? That's yeah, perfect. I keep floating that way. I know. He's a magnet. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So what time were you born? Uh, 6.15 a.m. 6.15 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Taurus. Sun just came up. Sir Gemini rising. There's some unfinished business that's been sitting around for a while. You're actually thinking of, of school again. Yeah, I had started, actually started doing school about a year ago, but then we had some bad stuff. And my son actually passed away, so I stopped. And Who I stopped? Just, Who passed? My son. Your son passed? Yeah. You still have a reason to live. Your son is still with you. He's still encouraging you. You can move forward, and he would definitely appreciate that. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have faith in yourself. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you're a Scorpio. That's me. When people go, ooh, la la, when you say Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people's perceptions about Scorpios are just really intense and more mysterious. I can see myself as intense, not quite mysterious, but I could see how it it could be to a certain extent. The thing about Scorpio, despite the fact that you really dislike this, you have to have a relationship. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> can I just, can it just be my work? Like. <laughs> <laughs> was this an okay experience? Oh yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Got for it. Thank you. And it came to me. And, 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 and,